Have you ever felt the need to cool down on a hot summer day? Have you ever had to warm up your room on a snowy winter afternoon? When trying to find solid dividend stocks, companies that specialize in air conditioning, heating and refrigeration are probably not at the top of anyone's mind. However, these are the type of overlooked stocks that give you the best returns. Today, we're looking at Watsco, a company which is the leader in this American sector. If I have to be perfectly honest, I had never even heard of Watsco a week ago. However, this company is quickly becoming one of my favorite dividend stocks to watch. Here is why. First of all, Watsco is the market leader in the distribution of heating, ventilation and air conditioning industry, with an estimated market share of 15 to 18%. In 2022, they did $7.2 billion in sales, $2 billion in gross profit, $601 million in net profit, and the company's free cash flow was $345 million. Their sales were growing slowly, but accelerated massively around COVID, growing from $4.8 billion in 2019 to the 7.2 billion number that I just mentioned. The management unfortunately does not give us any guidance for 2023. Currently, analysts estimate that revenue growth will slow down to only 2 or 3% in the next 12 months, while the earnings will slow down a bit, even shrink by about 6%. Not great. Most likely, that's a combination of high rates, inflation and possible recession. However, there are three bullish arguments for what's go. To start with, the HVAC industry is extremely fragmented. According According to both Watsco and Analyst, there are a lot of small operators that cannot compete with Watsco and the company really has a lot of room to grow. The whole HVAC distribution market is worth roughly $50 billion, so there is a lot more revenue for Watsco to capture. The other thing is that as the company grows, Watsco can start reducing costs by benefiting from economies of scale, better negotiation position with suppliers, more efficient operations, better deal on products. We have seen their profit margins improve during COVID. Gross margins went from around 24.5% to 27.9% and management is optimistic that they can improve them even further. Although the current target for this year is about 27%, net margins also increased from 5.3% in 2020 to 8.3% in 2022. Again, that appears to be sustainable. The third bullish argument is that the HVAC industry has high barriers to entry. There is a lot of technical expertise involved there and it's harder for new companies to come into the market. Looking at all of these arguments, arguments combined, Watsco really has a very compelling bullish narrative. In addition, Biden's Inflation Reduction Act will massively help the industry through the provision of tax credits and incentives to customers. This will obviously increase demand for the products too, and Watsco is well positioned to benefit from that. Overall, Watsco is a well-managed business. Their profitability is amazing. The return on equity is an astonishing 31%, compared to the industry's median of 13.8%, and Watsco 5-year historical average of 19.9%. Same goes for the return on assets, which is a 17.2% compared to the industry median of 5.2% and Watsco historical average of 11.2%. This is even more impressive given that Watsco does not have any long-term debt. What this means is that Watsco has found a very efficient way to make a profit, which is one of the main reasons why I am looking at the company. Watsco also has very solid financials. Their cash position is relatively low at only $147 million, but they are free from long-term debt like I just mentioned. Accounts receivables roughly match the account payables as well, so that looks okay. Plus, the company has recently completed a $600 million unsecured credit facility, which will be used as working capital if necessary. The interest rate on it is linked to the new secured overnight financing rate. I couldn't find any information regarding the credit rating, but it doesn't seem like Watsco is currently looking to issue any bonds, so this is is not that relevant. Another important part of the Watsco stock is the dividend, 32 years of dividend payments and 9 consecutive years of dividend growth. The historical 10-year compounded dividend growth rate is 15.7%, which is amazing to see. Expected dividend growth is lower, but it's still roughly 10% annually over the next 3 years. Currently, the forward yield is 3.2%, which is decent. It's not the best, but it is low enough to be sustainable. Over the last few years, the payout ratio has reduced reduced a lot and fallen down to 60% as the dividend has increased, so that's a really good sign. However, it is still 60%, which is a bit high. Ideally, I would like it to go down a bit, but given that Watsco has no long-term debt, that's not really a big issue right now. Still, I want to see Watsco prioritizing operational growth over dividend growth. This would be the best for the business over the long term in my opinion. So. 
The one-liner on what's go is this, a profitable business with healthy financials and room to grow, paying a strong dividend. The main caveat that I can really see here comes from the economic conditions. What's go's main customers come from the residential sector, making 65 to 70 percent of revenues, so rising unemployment, decline in real wage growth, all of that could impact its revenues. However, like I said, analysts are already pricing that in, as revenues and earnings are not really expected to grow in the next 12 months. Plus, the inflation Reduction Act should ensure that the demand for Watsco products remains steady. The other caveat, which is probably more important, is the valuation. Watsco has a high forward PE ratio of 22.6 relative to the industry median of 16.7. Given the low growth expectations, Watsco's PEG ratio is also 5.1, which is very expensive compared to the industry's 1.6. The price to book ratio is also high at just over 5 compared to the industry's 2.4. Not to mention that the stock recently hit its all-time high of $343 and is now trading at just over $300. As much as I like the stock potential, I don't think it's worth buying the company yet and that's why I named the video Dividend Stocks to Watch, not Dividend Stocks to Buy. What's go is just not at the buy stage yet. Ideally, I want to see it fall down to at least $250, maybe even $200 before I consider building a big position. The good thing is that we may see this soon, given everything that's happening in the bank world. Now, there's a lot more that I can say about Watsco, but I will leave it at this. What do you think? Is Watsco a good dividend stock to watch? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you again soon.